Welcome to Diecast Eric. Time to burn the rubber. Hi everyone, my name is Eric. You may have recognized me from my other YouTube channel, Eric Killer Hits, in which I play different people, such as, well, the Tylicular character, Eric Killer Hits. Big E Country, Daryl Dushman, Jim Haska, uh, and Mocha King, uh, Jobber the Hunt. So, you know, you must, must have recognized from those characters or my wrestling clip videos or my, my uh, worst relationship advice videos. And I decided to do something different and I decided to tackle this uh, new challenge. And the challenge is, well, die cast cars so i decided to start my own collection i'm a new new starter of uh this die cast uh, collector's thing and i thought why not me so here i am um doing this i am new to this i just know i just seen a couple youtube channels do it they just show you the cars and you know, all that stuff so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna provide a little bit of commentary but I don't want to bore you as well. Because trust me, if, I, if you talk too long, people get bored like, nah, let's go to another video. So, you know, I'm probably boring you right now as we speak. So, uh, uh, let, let's get into it. Okay? So, let me show you my first two cars that I'm going to show you right now. Alright, so these are my first two cars. Okay. The one on the left is an Alfa Romeo 4C. This is actually the very first of my die cast collection. I'm going to tell you a little quick story. When I was young, I had a whole bunch of cars. I had Matchbox, Hot Wheels, like all these different um, things. Cause I was a huge car nut. I still am today. It's actually more of like a reinvigoration of it now. <laughs> um, but the one beside on the white, the white one, the Alfa Romeo 4C, I'm gonna take that right now, is uh, the very first of the collection. So. Uh, Okay. Little show. <laughs> oh yeah, he's another character in my show, folks. This is my cat Midnight from Paracilla Hits. So. Uh, anyway, this is the first of of its collection, and uh, someone went to Miami and they brought this to me as a gift. And I didn't like that it was all alone. So I bought him more friends and I <laughs> kind of brought a lot of friends. So now he's not alone no more. So of course you put, pulled it back, you get this. You can roll on the zone. Two doors open. And of course, like I said, it's from Miami. So they have like the Miami logo. I'm gonna move this over close so you can see it. See? So very good design. C. I think it says on the bottom is 2013. Yep, 2013. And it's just very beautiful. I really like it so much. You know? There's a lot of beauty in these little guys. So. And I'm just very impressed with it. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to take you out of the little parking garage. And now I have this is not my second car. But I feel like I should highlight this one. Everyone knows this car, believe it or not. <laughs> so you know this is the Bugatti Veyron. Now, it, I'll, the collection I have as of now is the only car that will make sounds. Watch this, I'll open the two doors. <laughs> Isn't that cute? I think my brother did something, he, was, he, he came and he did it to where it rubbed on the engine. Let me see if I can do that. Oh, okay, it doesn't. But, um. Oh, by the way, both these cars are 1 by 32, ratio to 1, ratio 32. So, um. You know, you can. You know, they're both kind of the same size. Of course, the Bugatti's gonna be bigger because the Bugatti in real life is a bigger car. As you see here, the hood opens, so I leave in the front of it. That's where you store your luggage, while the back is the engine. 
and before they're all the variants like the super sport and oh. <laughs> Exact same sound as the original. <laughs> um, this used to be the fastest car. Now I think the fastest car is the Konasek Gesto. I think it was like 330 miles or 306. It's between those things, but I know it's past 300. This was 253. So the car before, one of my favorites is the McLaren F1. And then, um, then came this guy, and it beat the McLaren F1 in terms of top speed. And then there was also different variants, like the Super Sport. I think it's the Grand Sport is another one. It was, it was so much renditions of it. <laughs> it's not even funny. I believe the cost was it was I think it was 1.6 million, but I could be wrong about that. You know, like I said, I'm new to this diecast thing, <laughs> but um, yeah. So these are my two cars so the iron man of diecast the alfa romeo and i guess you could call this the uh um, i guess you can call us this, this the second in the model series the uh captain america well i don't want to say captain america but you know what i mean the other car the hyper car of the collection all right so thank you guys oh and this is a diorama of course uh many collectors have these so this is a diorama of the parking garage there's different designs of it you see i put the glass over it so you can get these from amazon ebay and i think the one, one i have here costs about 49.95 there's one that has six spots that is i believe 66. you can also stack them on top of each other and you know, it'd be pretty cool. You can have a little, little garage. You can also buy like one of those wall units where you can put those die cast cars in. But uh, this is my video. Thank you guys so much. Uh, you can check out my channel. And if you like to, you can go to my other channel, Eric Kill the Hits on YouTube. I do a lot of different things there. I can even do, I do comedy, wrestling clips. You like wrestling and uh, you know, just me, you know, acting goofier than here you know <laughs> here is like my calm cool stuff and uh over there i'm like kind of crazy <laughs> but uh thank you for watching and look forward to uh doing more of these all right take care guys have a nice day and be safe